you meant to say yours is a straightforward story. No, One line like that. that. And as and some of us are like that. Come, come, come. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tell okay, okay. Tell Tino, Tino, Tino. I am now in Goa after two generations. Because my grandfather left Goa. Campos? Before he was even married. Campos? No, no, no. Disa. Disa. He, he left Goa. He went. And he went, came off. Went. There's a long interesting story of where he went and went to Busawal and things like that. Anyway, my grandmother was born in Busawal because her father, my great-grandfather, had left from Sangolda to build the railway lines to, from, um, uh, you know, uh, Igatpuri to Harda. So anyway, that's how my grandfather and my grandfather, my grandmother met in Busawal. My father was born in Busawal. I was born in Busawal. But every year we came back to Goa. Every year we came back to Goa. My, every year my father came back to Goa ever since he was young. And the moment my grandfather stepped uh, on the island of Divar, he would take the soil, put it to his forehead and say, Minyatar, because that was his land. So we loved Goa right through. But anyway, I got into the service. I, 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 I schooled in Busawal, went to college in Bombay, Bombay, sat for my exam and got into the IAS in 1980. And uh, well, after that I was allotted to the Madhya Pradesh cadre. First try. Pardon? First try. First try. And I was uh, allotted to the Madhya Pradesh cadre. And then I had all my postings in Madhya Pradesh. And after my first posting, I, I, I met Malusha in Bombay. We got married. <laughs> and, and Malusha at 20 got married to me. <laughs> and, and, and the interesting thing was that her last, her last BCom paper got leaked. And uh, some day it got leaked and some confusion happened. And so that paper was cancelled. Which year? Which year this is? Which year? 84. 84. And then Bombay University announced a new schedule. And they said because we don't want to upset the other schedule, this paper will be reheld on a Sunday. And we were getting married on a Sunday. But one week before we got, luckily it was not 20th of May, it was 13th of May. Otherwise, she would have had her last paper on the day that we got married. <laughs> okay, okay, what, what tension it was. But anyway. Tino Campus is Campus is. Dr. Selsa needs to know. Campus is my mother. My mother is a Campus. She is from Anjuna. But my grandfather, uh, Zonkar from Saligaon, but otherwise settled in, uh, in Anjuna. But my grandfather was actually, uh, he went to Nairobi and he, was consul there, consul. he set up, he is, he is the founder, president of the Goan Institute in Nairobi, set it up there. He was involved in the politics in Nairobi. He led a movement for representation of Goans. He led a delegation to Churchill. The interview that he had with Churchill which has been published also. He wrote a treatise which was quoted in the House of Commons in 1930. Anyway, my mother was born in Nairobi, but then in 1931 my grandfather returned to Goa. And uh, yeah, he was here and then he ended his career as, uh, as the Trade Commissioner for Portugal in uh, Bombay. And then when relations broke off between India and Portugal on the 1st of September 1955, he was declared personal on Grata and he had to overnight go to Karachi. He was not allowed to come back to Goa also. So he and my grandmother just had to leave uh, Bombay and go to Karachi. And uh, then in 1958, he managed to get a direct boat from Karachi to Goa because they couldn't come through India. That was and, the time of the blockade. Yes. And he came to Goa. And my mum and my dad came from Busawal over here, met him and uh, he saw me for the first time because I was born after he left. Then he died. <laughs> he, within a day? Within a? Within a week. You know, he just met me and died in our house in Piyadas. He could not even go to their own house in Anjuna because it was, uh, it had not been lived in for four opened, years. Opened, it was opened. in a mess. Yeah, yeah. But Amazing. his son, that is my mother's brother, also had the privilege then of becoming the, the, the strangely, he became the 
vice consul for Portugal and in Thailand. He, uh, Thailand. No, Thailand was my first, his first cousin. Ah. But my uncle was also in the Portuguese diplomatic service. And when India re-established relations with Portugal in '74, he was sent. Lukash Kampusch was then. He was sent to Delhi to reopen the Portuguese embassy. And he reopened, established the Portuguese embassy for five years. He was in Delhi. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs>